onto the track. There we can see them down at the mile and a quarter start. Chamonix out in front. Fame and Glory follows him through. Camelot settled at the back by Joseph O'Brien. Let's get commentary on the gallop from Peter O'Hare. Chamonix, written by Dean Gallagher, going off in front, followed by Fame and Glory and Camelot. A couple of lengths off them, Joseph O'Brien. Turning down the back towards the uh, mile and a quarter start. And Chamonix going along over two lengths in front of Fame and Glory and sitting about four lengths off them is the dual derby winner, Camelot, as they head down the far side of the course. Chamonix closely followed by Fame and Glory and Jamie Heffernan and held up behind them is uh, Camelot and Joseph O'Brien as they continue on now towards the six furlong point, midway down the back straight. Chamonix strides along, tracked by Fame and Glory. About three lengths off him is Camelot as they race on now, heading towards the five marker. Just quickening up a bit and Chamonix out in front, followed through by Fame and Glory and Camelot. Last of the three as they go on towards the turn that will take them out of the back straight. Chamonix in front by a length and a half to uh, Fame and Glory. Past winner of the Irish Derby and of the Ascot Gold Cup and Camelot unbeaten sitting in behind them as they turn out of the back straight now. About half a mile from the finishing post in front of the stands. Chamonix just been urged along. Fame and Glory right behind them and Camelot getting a bit closer as they run down now to approach the home turn past the three furlong marker Chamonix, Fame and Glory moving up on his outside two and a half lengths off them Camelot beginning to uh, close now as they round the turn and come into the straight two furlongs from the end of this workout and Fame and Glory Camelot coming there on the near side and in behind them Chamonix who's done his job as they come up now towards the final furlong in this uh, workout and Camelot goes past Fame and Glory and they've gone on clear of Chamonix as they come up now inside the last uh, 200 yards or so and Camelot drawing away from Fame and Glory in second up in front of the stands Camelot bound for the Labrick St. Ledger finishes off about six lengths clear of Fame and Glory and a gap of 10, 12 lengths back to Chamonix. Aidan O'Brien joins us after Camelot's pre-racing workout here. Aidan, sigh of relief there. Everything seemed to go pretty smoothly, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, delighted, Gary, absolutely. Um, this one went to a nice, solid, even building pace, a mile and a half, and he, he did it lovely. Was that exactly what you were looking for today? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it, it's a good while since he, was, uh, since he ran, and he has had a break, and he's done very well. Um, like he's he's made like a miler now. He's gone very round and strong, you know. So we were delighted with it, really. And how important a step is this in his preparation for this ledger? Actually, sure it's important that like obviously, like you're going to be running like a good bit beyond this trip, really, in the ledger. So it was important that he had a nice day out and and he could come home and be trained for it, you know. And what's the the schedule for him between now and then? Is it just a case of building him up gradually? Yeah, listen, he'll, he'll have a, an easy few days after being here, obviously, and then his build up will start. And um, like obviously. Uh, like it'll be a big test from going that trip, you know. So, and then we got the chance to see Fame and Glory as well. What did you make of that from him? Was Shamey happy? Yeah, no, delighted. Like obviously he's just gone a bit older and wiser. And when you drop him in in a race now, and we didn't realise until the last day he goes to sleep, and obviously he, he he doesn't wake up. But like Seamus was very adamant. Like it's the way to ride him is right up there handy and don't break his rhythm. And that's what we'll be happy to do the next day if 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 uh, if there's not pace in the race. And how's the rest of the season likely to plan out for him? Do you know yet? Uh, no, the, the, he came here with the view to come back to the Irish Legend, his Fame and Glory. So and we'll go there and see what will happen. After that. Fantastic, Aiden. Thanks a lot. Pleasure, Gary. Pleasure.